so in the first part of the lecture we were discussing about the pin pockets so as i said the pin pockets would be of the size 0.5 by 0.5 by 0.6 meters and they will be provided at the suitable locations and they are used for the jacking arrangements so here you can see uh, the spin pockets you can see in this clearly the spin pockets are filled with the sand and a small layer of uh, you know the screed concrete is placed on them in order to get a smooth surface for casting the boxes so everywhere you can see like you know it is done with the screening layer so that you get a, a smooth surface so that the boxes can be cast on the trust bed So let me move on to the next slide. So the next component which we are going to discuss is that is called as the hydraulic jacks. So this technique of box stacking consists of the construction of the RCC trust bed with the necessary jacking pin holes. So that we call it as the pin pockets. So this sort of the what you can see in this picture, this sort of the steel flats are embedded in the trust bed. Uh, over which the boxes will be cast in the units and it will be jacked by applying the pressure through the hydraulic jacks which takes the reactions against the, the jacking pins. So this is the jacking pins which are inserted in the pin holes which are left in the trust bed. So next is sub. So, so far we have clearly seen what are the different components of this uh, uh, box stacking technique. So, we have seen what is trust bed, what are the functions of the trust bed and what are the components of trust bed and then we moved on to box casting and pushing and here we have seen how the boxes are cast in the segments. And we have seen what is friend shield and how and what is the function of this friend cutting shield. And then we moved on to rear shield and its function of the rear shield. And then we understood what is the pink pocket and what are the sizes of the pink pockets. And we moved on to hydraulic jacks and these are the different components of the box stacking. Now let us understand clearly what is the sequence which is involved in the box stacking process. That is the construction sequence of the box stacking process. So the first step what we do is the front unit that is the first box unit will be provided with the cutting edge. So cutting edge is nothing but the front shield and the subsequent units will be provided with the intermediate jacking stations at the junction points. And uh, usually what the people at the project site do is to facilitate the jacking and also to prevent the dragging of the soil. So what they do is they go for using the drag sheets or the epoxy coating will be provided on the top of the box unit. So a box unit which needs to be pushed so that to give the minimum disturbance to the top cushion. So, for facilitating the jacking operations and to prevent the, uh, you know, uh, paving in of the soil, we go for providing the drag sheets or like you can give the epoxy coating on the top of the box units. So, so before you actually you start the jacking operations, what we need to do is you have to do some excavations near the frame cutting shield and this will be done for a length of around 200 to 300 mm. So that like you know the French shield uh, uh, you know the French cutting shield top is always well embedded in the embankment soil at all the times and after that like what we do is excavated soil is then removed and the boxes will be pushed by the hydraulic jacks slowly in that gaps that is created. So the box will be pushed by the hydraulic jacks which are operated by the power packs. So this operation of this jacking will be continued by adding the suitable steel packing boxes and the plates between the jacking pins and the hydraulic jacks. So till like you know the next row of the pockets in the trust bed is exposed. So what you do is like uh, how you have to do this jacking operation is like uh, the trust the row of the trust bed will be exposed so suitable steel packing boxes and the plates will be play will be like provided between the jacking pins and the hydraulic jacks 
till like the next row of the pockets in the trust bed is exposed so jacking pins will be inserted into these pockets and the pushing will be continued until the first segment of the box is completely pushed into the segment and uh, uh, the most important aspect in this box stacking process is you have to do a close monitoring of the jacking pressures of the different jacks so that like you have to ensure that there is a correct distribution of the hydraulic pressure from the power pack to ensure the rectification if there is any misalignment of the box units during the jacking operations and as per the specification whenever you do the pushing of first segments is in progress the required number of the boxes should be constructed so that they are available for the pushing operation and always continuous pushing can be carried out so the other segments of the box units that is the remaining box units the same will be shifted on the line of alignment of pushing on the trust bed so all these box segments it will be positioned in line and the level of the box which is already pushed so they will be kept in position in line with the level of the box which is already pushed by suitably operating the hydraulic jacks and they are joined to the first segment through the rear shield so that they form the intermediate jacking station so which we call it as IJS so this ijs enables the pushing of this individual units one by one by taking the reactions against the rear unit and thus it goes for reducing the total jacking forces needed at the time so for pushing the first box second box will be held at the rear by the jacking pins and the jacks will be provided at the intermediate jacking stations so this is how like the boxes are pushed into the embankment with the help of the hydraulic jacks in the box stacking techniques. So I hope you understand clearly what is the sequence involved in the box stacking process. And uh, to understand better, you can also like uh, um, see some of the box stacking videos that are executed uh, at the project site and uh, if possible i will share with you also some of the videos to make you to understand whatever the construction sequence which i have taught you in the class now so the procedure is very simple like you have to start with the trust bed and then you have to place the pin pockets at the uh, on the trust bed at the shootable locations then you go for doing the the box segments casting the box segments then you have to like do the installation of the front cutting shield at the front face of the box then attach the rear shield and to start with like what you have to do like uh, uh, you have to do the excavation for a gap of 200 to 300 mm and then you have to slowly you have to push the boxes into the embankment with the help of the hydraulic jacks so, so while pushing the rows of the pin pockets on the truss bed will be exposed where you have to go for inserting this uh, uh, jacking pins and then the boxes need to be pushed into the embankment through the the, the, the hydraulic force which is uh, obtained through the uh, this power pack and slowly the box the first box segment need to be pushed into the ground and after that like you can go for bringing the next level of the boxes and they are connected to the rear unit with the help of the intermediate jacking station and slowly all the boxes are pushed into the embankment for the required length so these are the steps which are involved in the construction sequence of the box stacking operations I hope you all clearly understand the what is box stacking, what is the purpose of the box stacking, what are the components of the box stacking and what are the procedures involved in the box stacking technique.